Hi, my name is Aaron Lindstedt. I'm a polar explorer and motivational speaker. It's review day! As you can see what's in my hand, but snowshoes. Why are we going to review those? Well, because I believe they're the best backcountry snowshoes available. And I'm going to tell you why that is. The MSR, MSR Lightning Ascent snowshoes. Let's find out why they're so good and why I like them. What are the differences between snowshoes? I mean, there's this whole floppy mess, you know, what's the big deal about snowshoes? Why should you even care? If you are a backcountry adventurer and you go out and you need snowshoes, and we'll ignore skis, that's a whole other world. But a lot of times when I'm out trekking, either mountaineering or stomping around in the snow, I like to go to snowshoes simply because they're the most versatile type of transport available. Uh, they are not as efficient as skis. In fact, they're probably at least 50% slower. I mean, way slower than skis. Skis blow away snowshoes. However, skis can't be used everywhere. Uh, snowshoes, I would argue, can be used everywhere. They are the most versatile. Now, you'll see lots of different designs tubes, tennis rackets, all this craziness. But some years ago, MSR, Mountain Safety Research, came out with this new style of snowshoes. And they say, hey, ding, check that out. Uh -huh -huh. Yeah, ding, right? So they came out with this totally different style of snowshoes. And this guy right here, is it. This is the MSR Lightning style snowshoe. It's extremely light, versatile, and tough. My previous pair, I used them until the teeth wore out on that thing. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute, where I use those snowshoes going over rocks and in the Sierras and up Mount Whitney and in, let's see, where else did I use them? Uh, Denali. I mean, just crazy amount of usage out of these things. They are incredibly tough. So let's talk about this snowshoe and why you might be interested in it. First, the big question is how big are they and how much do they weigh? So let's find out and I've got my handy dandy scale here. All right, shoot, do, 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 do. scroll down, zoom in, we'll pull that to the side, turn this on. And you see this rubber band dealy. This is what they originally come with. It's, it's almost dead. It doesn't last that long. That's not that important. But these snowshoes as a pair weigh uh, pretty much exactly four pounds. If, if I breathe on it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So four pounds, two pounds per shoe. Now, that may seem pretty heavy but they're actually incredibly light compared to other snowshoes. So uh, two pounds per shoe, that's actually really, really good. Let me move this out of the way. Uh, let me show you how big these things are in measurement wise and then relative to an actual foot because that's all that really matters. So here's my one measuring tape. All right, so we're going to go down and these snowshoes are 25 inches long. Uh, there are a 22 inch shorter version. I'll put links to the 25 and the 22 below, but I highly recommend getting the longer snowshoe because the moment you end up in even vaguely soft snow, then you have that shorter snowshoe and you start sinking, all of a sudden you're gonna wish, dang, I wish I would have bought the longer snowshoes. Uh, MSR and other manufacturers, they do make snowshoes that have extenders and tails on there, but then, oh dang, I didn't bring the tails, or oh, there's something wrong. Trust me, just get the long snowshoes and you will have far less trouble. Uh, another thing is the width. It's many snowshoes are extra wide that cause you to walk kind of awkward inside, but these are actually really narrow in that they allow you to pretty much walk with a natural gait. All right, so I'm going to show you here how wide are these. Looks like eight inches at the fat point. Not too bad. So these snowshoes have the huge advantage, let me tilt my camera up just a bit here, of having traction in 360 degrees all the way around the snowshoe. 
Those tub type snowshoes don't. They'll have little, what are called crampons here, but if you're side hilling, shoom, you will slide down and eat it on the hill. Whereas these guys have traction, this little, pretty much the entire frame, has teeth and traction all the way around. And it has a traction bar here, here. It's got this little claw crampy deal, crampon deal that digs in there. I mean, it's really, really good. You can see where it, it will put your ball of your foot here. There's a right shoe and a left shoe. And this is important. I'll show you why in a minute. But the huge thing about this snowshoe is that it has the magical ascent bars. I'm sure MSR patented this thing, but this bar flips up there. And so when you're walking uphill, instead of killing your calf, this levels your foot out a lot. I didn't bring or buy, uh, I didn't buy the uh, Ascent style snowshoes my first time on Denali. Pain! Because it's like doing a calf flex the entire time. Miserable. You put this on here and it looks like it's adding stairs, but when you start tilting up and climbing, this levels it out. It so feels like cheating. Love it. So that is a huge factor with this snowshoes. This bar the moment you want to go uphill, you just flip it up, either reach down or snag it with your, your trekking poles or whatever. Boy, totally awesome. I, I can't recommend that enough. Uh, the one thing about snowshoes, any style with the crampons, is this pin right here. That is a failure point where this flex happens. I have never broken any of these pins. They are aluminum. They never seem to wear out. But if, if you're in a real potential situation where your life depends on it, you might want to consider bringing extra pins and extra cotters. I don't know. I haven't. I'm probably taking a risk. So let me show you how these guys work here. All right. Okay. So uh, the whole concept of this snowshoe is pretty simple. And you put your right foot on the right is you put your foot in the ball area and then your foot can rock and miss the front of the shoe. Let me zoom in here so you can see this better. I don't really care to look at me. There you go. And then these straps simply go over here. And then you've got this just handy little pin thing. Now, this rubber gets quite stiff when it gets cold, but it's not that big a deal. You put it in here. Now, of course, it's, you know, balmy 60 degrees in my office so I have no problems for you those from Florida and California 60 degrees f sounds like two steps from death believe me it's not when you've been in minus 60 degrees or minus 100 degree wind chill it's pretty easy so far so good and then you put the heel strap around here lock it in there and bazow you are ready to rock just like that so as you walk your foot goes through there that natural gate when you pick this snowshoe up it completely flexes this does make it very difficult it, i wouldn't say impossible to go backwards so if you lift your heel up and go backwards you've got to really really pick up your foot let me widen this up a bit here so in order to go backwards it's very difficult to go backwards. So that is definitely one uh, flaw of all this style of snowshoe. But the ascent bar, it's like, oh, how does that thing work? You flip this heel up, and now it looks like I'm leaning forward. It's not very comfortable. But if I were stepping up on a very serious hill, and stepping on a hill like this, all of a sudden that ascent bar makes a huge difference in that it levels my feet out at least by four inches versus if I had to flip that down and try and climb up like this, it's just, it's miserable. It's, it's not gonna happen because the snowshoe presses the snow down. You can't stomp in it. So this ascent bar is the money. There you go. Not too shabby there. So let me zoom back out here. And you can see, I mean, footing around in snowshoes is quite a bit awkward. I mean, I have to admit that, but of all the snowshoes that I've ever worn and used, 
These MSR snowshoes have been the bomb. I, I can't recommend them enough. I mean, they're incredibly light compared to everything else. Yeah, they are expensive. <laughs> I mean, I will admit that. Uh, but th there will be links below to this uh, snowshoe on Amazon. Check it out. But even though it's really expensive, believe me, when you've gone 15 miles in the backcountry and your snowshoes are four pounds each instead of two pounds, you will happily throw down your credit card and please make my snowshoe lighter, believe you me. So my last pair, and I still have them, there's nothing wrong with them, I just wanted the bar. Uh, they, they've lasted me like 20 years and they're still going. So even though they're expensive, what have you owned that's 20 years old that can take a beating and still keep cruising? And also wanted to show you on here the teeth. They're incredibly good there. So highly recommend these MSR snowshoes. Uh, by the way, MSR, Mountain Safety Research, does not sponsor me at all for these reviews. This is just straight up products that I've used and I think you might like. If you're in a snowy environment, check it out. I don't receive any compensation or free snowshoes or anything for these reviews. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer <laughs> and motivational speaker. Please like and comment on the channel. Hit the little arrow to the right of the video. Scroll down, add a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell dinger button. And please support my channel on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Thank you very much for watching.